Yeah, I'm uh, Regimental Sergeant Major William McCurtis. Most folks call me Bill. And we represent the first of the four Buffalo Soldier Units that was put together in 1866. It's the first time uh, American blacks were allowed to be regular United States Army soldiers. And since that history was hidden, hidden, and these guys gave us a chance to do our military uh, service, we decided to represent them, to bring that history out and so people will know how much of a part uh, men and women of color have meant to this country and how they helped build this country. And I'm going to pass this on to my captain who is right behind me. My name is Captain William Porter. I served in 3rd of 36th Infantry and 3rd Armor in Europe, and I have honor of being captain in this organization. I'm an ex-teacher, and part of my motivation is to bring this story to a lot of people that do not know it. And I might even add, the biggest surprise of all, perhaps, is one lady managed to sneak into the Buffalo Soldiers. So there are Many stories of courage. Eighteen men earned a Medal of Honor serving in what we euphemistically call the Indian War. Captain Lawrence Gaskin. I'm with the U.S. Public Health Service, and I serve as a captain in the U.S. Public Health Service as well as a dentist. Um, it's just great being with these great bunch of guys and actually having a chance to talk a little bit about history. My name is John Rogers. I served in the U.S. Army from 1959 to 1961, and it's great to be in the 9th Memorial Cavalry with a great bunch of guys. My name is George Backus. I did 20 years in the U.S. Air Force. Now I'm with these guys for a lot more years, <laughs> and I'm a quartermaster sergeant. And there you have it, but I'm going to top this off. Because, you know, tankers always rule over everything else. I did my time 65 to 71, 2nd Battalion, 64th Armored, 3rd Armored Division, Charlie Company. And I ended up a drill sergeant. And I'm Bonnie Adams Freeman, curator of the Kenneth M. Freeman Legacy Collection. And my late husband, Ken Freeman, was a very proud member of this organization. Bill managed to figure out how to get Ken to be his finance officer. And Ken painted the Buffalo Soldiers because he wanted to help tell the story, the untold and unappreciated story. He, he recognized from the soul, he was a Buffalo Soldier before you, you guys brought him into the Buffalo Absolutely. Soldiers. Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. So his um, his part in all of this through his art. Yes. He helped tell the story. Absolutely. And those paintings will continue to do so.